there guys, you're watching University TV. I'm Shayna Jean and today we're at State University New York College of Environmental Science and Forestry, home to the Mighty Oaks. Actually we're in the heart of campus right now where you can see the Robin Hood Oak. It's an English oak that grew from an acorn brought here by an ESF professor back in 1926 from Sherwood Forest. Let's see what else we can find around campus. SUNY College of Environmental Science and Forestry is located in Syracuse, New York, in the area known as University Hill for the three universities within close proximity. Syracuse University has been a longtime partner of SUNY ESF, which is great because of the close proximity. I'm standing right in front of Ailic Hall on campus, and Syracuse's Carrier Dome is right behind us. We've got some wonderful both state and county parks, um, beautiful waterfalls and gorges. And of course, the Finger Lakes area with uh, all the water sports, uh, fishing, wineries, all kinds of things to visit. And finally, the Adirondacks, which are, have, have historically been the playground of New York. Um, it's the largest public park in the United States, bigger than Yellowstone, uh, Yosemite, and Glacier National Parks combined. Right now, we're looking at the main quad in ESF's Tree Line campus. To the right, we have the library, and then there's class. Oh! <laughs> Apparently, someone forgot to tell me about a favorite ESF tradition. You're not supposed to cross the grass. So, future students, when you're on campus, stick to the sidewalk. Do you enjoy a good walk in the woods? ESF students use over 25,000 acres of college-owned forests, lakes, and wetlands across the state of New York to study biology, forestry, and other environmental programs. The college operates research stations in the Thousand Islands and in the Adirondack Park, along with its Ranger School campus in Wanakina. We actually have property in Tully, which is 45 minutes from here, and that's the hybrid forest. So we usually go out there for field classes and actually do sampling with vegetation, mammal sampling, and right now we're actually going to be assessing the forest for habitat suitability for animals such as white-tailed deer, wild turkey, and rough grouse. SUNY ESF enrolls 1,600 undergraduate students and 550 graduate students. 60% of the student population is male, almost 20% come from outside the state of New York, and 9% come from diverse populations. The student-to-faculty ratio is 12 to 1. Most of the students that come to interview here are interested in environmental issues, and so uh, I think, like people interested in any realm, uh, they're interested in kindred spirits. And so they're looking for those kindred spirits among the students, among the staff, among the faculty, uh, and they get that here. SUNY ESF is selective and usually admits less than 45% of freshman applicants and about 40% of transfers. The average high school GPA is a 92%, and SATs average between 1070 and 1260 for the combined reading and math sections. New York residents pay yearly tuition and fees of about $6,000. For out-of-staters, it's around $14,500, and room and board comes out close to $13,000, including a meal plan. ESF was even recognized by Forbes magazine as a Best Buy college. ESF is the oldest and largest college in the nation focused on science, design, engineering, and management of our environment and natural resources. The college offers 22 bachelor's degree programs and 30 graduate programs, all with an environmental focus. Eight of the majors fall into the biological sciences category, which enrolls 40% of ESF's student population. As a freshman, right away I was introduced into a lot of field studies, even in some of the more general coursework of biology and chemistry. Uh, we do a lot of applied work here at ESF, which means that we're not just taking the general ecology and science courses. We probably have about 20-25% of our students will go directly into some type of graduate program. Um, veterinary school is very popular, certainly medical school, law school. Um, students come to us to prepare for a variety of other specializations at the graduate level because of the, the diversity of undergraduate courses that we offer, especially in our biology program. They go into work for um, state agencies, federal agencies, um, as biologists, um, as managers of, of um, wildlife populations. We have a lot of folks that go into um, nonprofit conservation organizations, both um, raising money and buying land and protecting habitat, um, changing policies for wildlife. 85% of the 175 ESF faculty members teach full-time. In addition, almost 95% have their PhD or highest degree available in their field. For chemistry, I used to go and sit the entire day before the test and talk to the chemistry professor and just do my homework in her office hours and she'd answer any questions I had right there on the spot. Five Mighty Oaks athletic teams compete against rival colleges in the U.S. Collegiate Athletics Association. Our residence hall is under construction as we speak 
and for fall 2011 will be the first class entering into the residence hall. It's going to have 280 freshman beds, but they're going to be even better than a traditional residence hall room because they're going to have their own bathrooms, which is just quite extraordinary. For a small size school, students have a big social life. With over 300 student clubs and organizations to get involved with at Syracuse and over 40 more at ESF, these oaks stay mighty busy. We actually just had Night at the Museum, which is a, in collaboration with the Moose, which is the Museum of Science and Technology downtown in Syracuse. And what we did was just had a free night of students running around in the museum at night. And that included a planetarium show and an IMAX and just free desserts and coffee, and it was just great. It was a lot of fun. SUNY ESF students are leaders in the movement towards sustainability. They extend their efforts beyond the classroom, exceeding 70,000 hours of community service every year. Because of their efforts, the college has been recognized on the President's Honor Roll for Community Service. Well, that's it for us. Thanks so much for joining us here in Syracuse at State University of New York College of Environmental Science and Forestry. For University TV, I'm Shana Jean, and I'll see you guys real soon.